The global population hit 7 billion in 2010 and is expected to reach 10 billion by the 2050s. To feed all these people, more food will be needed. To this end, using diverse genetic resources is essential. Unfortunately, due to global warming, disorganized development, and large-scale natural disasters, our irreplaceable genetic resources are disappearing daily. Our responsibility is to protect the rich natural world and precious genetic resources we inherited from our ancestors and pass them on to future generations. We need to use these genetic resources effectively to secure stable food supply. The Gene Bank Project is a research activity that collects, preserves, and provides diverse genetic resources for the future. In 1985, Japan's Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry and Fisheries started the Gene Bank project. In 1988, the Gene Bank facility was built in Tsukuba Science City. NARO conducts the Gene Bank project for the genetic resources of plants, microorganisms and animals. NARO conserves diverse genetic resources by connecting a network of stakeholder organizations nationwide. Crops with various kinds of characteristics, including color, shape, and size, are cultivated in the world. Exploring, collecting, and preserving these local varieties and wild species, so rich in diversity, is an important part of GeneBank's work. Researchers travel all over Japan after the fall harvest. They are entrusted with precious seeds that farmers have cultivated over long years, and they also collect seeds of wild species. Some of these seeds have superior properties not found in currently cultivated varieties. The Gene Bank Project sends exploration teams not only around Japan, but also overseas to collect genetic resources around the world. The genetic resources thus collected worldwide are then grown in upland or paddy fields. In this way, various characteristics such as flowering time, plant height, and resistance to diseases are investigated and recorded. In the laboratory, we also analyze the DNA that conveys genetic information. In this way, we identify the characteristics of the genetic resources we collected. Some crops introduced from overseas need to be checked for disease before their investigation of characteristics. These crops are isolated in special greenhouses and test cultivated to ensure they are free of disease. Seeds of plants collected from all over the world are stored in GeneBank's seed storage rooms. Seeds are carefully dried and selected for long-term storage. The medium-term seed storage room is kept at minus one Celsius, while the long-term seed storage room is kept at minus 18 Celsius. The system of the storage rooms is automated when so instructed by a computer, the required seeds are brought to the operator. Seeds are distributed in response to applications from users. 
The germination ability of seed for distribution is confirmed on a five-year schedule. Genetic resources with reduced germination ability or less amount of residual seed will be recultivated for seed multiplication. Fruit trees, potatoes, and other plants unsuitable for seed preservation are preserved in subbank fields and tissue cultures all over Japan. Vegetative reproduction crops such as potatoes must be cultivated in fields or incubation rooms every year. For this reason, we are focusing on the development of cryopreservation as a stable preservation method in which some parts of plant tissues are stored using liquid nitrogen. In cryopreservation for potatoes, the tip of the stem is cut off and attached to an aluminum plate for storage. Using this method, many genetic resources such as potatoes, fruit trees, and mulberries can be preserved without loss due to natural disasters. Plant genetic resources stored at GeneBank are used as materials for developing new varieties. Newly established rice varieties with higher yields than ordinary Japanese rice are cultivated as feed for cattle and pigs. Microorganisms such as molds, bacteria, yeasts, and viruses play an important role in agricultural production and food processing. Natto bacteria produce natto, koji molds and yeasts produce miso, soy sauce, and Japanese sake, while plant pathogens such as molds, bacteria, and viruses cause various crop diseases. The collected microorganisms are subjected to microscope observation and various other tests to find out what kind of microorganism they are. GeneBank collects microorganisms from materials such as plants, foods, and soil in Japan and overseas. To preserve microorganisms, they must first be multiplicated. Many can be multiplicated on nutritional agar media, but some microorganisms that require special growth conditions, such as plant viruses, can grow only on plants. In such cases, virus-infected leaves are ground up and inoculated to healthy plants. Next, the multiplicated microorganisms are stored. Fusarium and other molds are stored at minus 165 Celsius. There is liquid nitrogen in the bottom of these tanks, and the inside of the tank is constantly kept at very low temperatures. Semi-permanent storage is possible. Bacteria and yeasts are stored by vacuum freeze drying. A suspended solution of the bacterial cells is put into a glass tube, frozen, and then vacuum sealed. The glass tubes are stored in refrigerated rooms. In the case of plant viruses, the virus-infected leaves are dried, sealed, and stored. Microorganism genetic resources stored in these ways are used for various studies. In addition to genetic information such as DNA sequences, in recent years, GeneBank has been re-identifying preserved strains by examining protein differences using special analyzers. This work also confirms that no strains are mixed up or contaminated. In terms of animal genetic resources, 
both livestock and insects related to agriculture are stored and evaluated. Due to economic globalization, traditional livestock animals are disappearing and genetic diversity is rapidly decreasing. Livestock animals kept by humans since ancient times are also important from a cultural perspective. At GeneBank, we are continuing to preserve more than 600 varieties of silkworms. Livestock such as cattle and poultry are mainly stored in the form of cryopreserved semen at minus 196 Celsius using liquid nitrogen. More than 100,000 samples collected since 1988 are stored here. We thaw some of this frozen semen when necessary to confirm by microscope observation that activity is being maintained. To ensure that genetic resources can be used efficiently, we are working to advance these genetic resources. One such effort is the creation of core collection sets for which representative varieties are selected. These sets, including rice, azuki beans, and maize, are used in various studies. In addition, in order to provide users with correctly identified microorganism strains, we check our strains based on DNA and RNA analysis, then create approved sets of microorganism strains that users can use confidently, as well as update these with the appropriate scientific names. GeneBank collects and arranges various kinds of information on genetic resources and provides it to a wide range of users over the internet. This is a web retrieval system for plant genetic resources. Users can quickly obtain information on genetic resources using data such as variety name, scientific name, or place of origin. Users can also search only disease-resistant genetic resources using characteristics and evaluation data. Users can apply online to have the searched genetic resources sent to them. Following the advancement of genome research, we are working to prepare DNA data for genetic resources. The process of determining whether or not genetic resources are similar has become more accurate. We are also striving to improve user services. In order to make the database easier to use, we have developed an image database and a system that shows the resources collection point on a map. For plant genetic resources with collection points that include latitude and longitude data, detailed information can be confirmed while viewing the geographic distribution of the original habitat. Cooperation by researchers around the world is essential for exploring and collecting diverse genetic resources and storing them for future generations. For this reason, NARO has been active in seeking cooperation with other countries. One such activity is the JICA training course. NARO and JICA work together to host trainees from overseas every year. A wide variety of genetic resources living on the earth serve as materials to maintain the rich natural world and secure a stable supply of food. GeneBank is committed to continuing its activities in various fields related to genetic resources in order to help improve the lives and welfare of people in Japan and around the world, and to ensure a prosperous future.